up there, we've also got it tied down at the tail. And then, in here, there's a little brass oh, button yeah, there. Yeah, press, it, press that down, that's going to depress the float. And just hold it down for a while. Start bubbling you out the top. Yep, no, you'll hear a bit of a, a oh, yep. noise. Now yep. take your finger off. Now you'll see the purpose of the catch bottle. Right. So what we've done for a start is flood the engine. Yeah. Um, so so you don't have to put your hand over here while you're turning it no, over. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so that's got some fuel into the cylinders now. Yeah, get a hold the the yeah, 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 get it. <laughs> As you pull the prop round, it winds the spring up until yeah. it reaches a point where the piston is at the right place in the cylinder and your top dead centre ready yeah. to fire. And the pull then releases the spring, it winds the, spins the armature of the nag round very fast and gives a decent gives hot start for, for starting. Okay, because one of those compressions is per, pis per piston, That'll and it's not locked. That'll put some strength into no, spinning that. Thing. Sometimes you can have um, a valve that's not seating properly, something like that, and you'll get a soft sort oh, yep, yep. and that, um, that will actually show it up. Having done that, we've now sucked some fuel in, but we've now got too much. So I open the throttle wide open, making yep. sure the switches are off. Now you pull it through. the throttle, set it just open a little bit, turn the right mag on, Contact. 